DI boxes are these little metal boxes that appear all over the place in live sound. You are most likely to encounter a DI box when working with a band. Let's have a look at why we use them as well as the different types. A DI box is used to connect a high output impedance, line level, unbalanced output signal to a low impedance, microphone level, balanced input. Let's unpack these terms. Impedance is the measure of how resistive a cable, sound console or other piece of audio equipment is to the flow of electrons in an audio signal. High quality microphones generally sit under 500 ohms of impedance. The input on a modern sound console can be as low as 50 ohms, while almost all electric guitars are over 500,000 ohms and many sit around 1 million ohms. This huge difference can cause distortion in the signal. A cable connected to a high impedance device will act as a low pass or high cut filter. This is worse the longer the cable is. By placing a DI box close to the instrument, the signal can be quickly converted to a low impedance signal that can safely travel the distance to the mixing console. Next, we'll have a look at the difference between line level and mic level. These are both sound oriented terms to describe the voltage of the signal in a way that musicians or others with no electrical experience can understand. Mic level is anywhere between a thousandth to a hundredth of a volt. This signal is so weak because it is generated by sound waves moving a bit of metal. The preamplifier takes that signal and boosts it up to a standard level when it enters the desk. Line level is set at about 1 volt, the standard voltage of an early telephone line. If a line level signal is plugged into an input that is expecting a mic level signal, the signal will be very loud and distorted. While we're here, I'll quickly mention aux level. It is set just under one third of a volt. Aux level is the standard for RCA connectors as well as the headphone output on your phone. Finally, we need to talk about balanced and unbalanced signals. This is a 3-pin XLR type connector. The third pin in an XLR cable is used to ground the system. This helps to protect the signal from unwanted interference, such as the electrical fields generated by 240 volt mains electrical cables. Cables that are grounded like this are said to carry a balanced signal. Unbalanced cables do not have a ground connection. These cables are suitable for short distances, such as a guitar to a nearby instrument amplifier, or from a laptop to the auxiliary input in a sound console. If unbalanced cables are run too far, over about 5 meters, they can develop a buzzing sound and lose some of their high frequencies. This can make the signal completely unusable. There's more info about balanced and unbalanced cables in my video on audio data and control. DI boxes can be classed as passive or active. Active boxes require phantom or battery power, while passive boxes do not. The main difference is that active DI boxes have a preamplifier that can provide a gain boost. This allows the signal to be more reliable over longer distance by making the desired signal louder relative to any unwanted hum or interference. Active DI boxes generally have some other functionality, although these options are available on some passive DI boxes. Ground lift is a function that disconnects the ground pin from the circuit, removing ground hum. Pass through provides a secondary line level unbalanced output, identical to the original input. This can be used to feed the original signal to an onstage amp or other device. Polarity reverse swaps the hot and cold pins on the output XLR lead. This effectively flips the audio wave upside down, which can be beneficial in some situations to get a fuller sounding mix or reduce feedback. The pad button can gain the whole signal down by 15 or 20 decibels to reduce clipping or distortion caused by a signal being too loud. In summary, DI boxes allow us to create better sounding, more reliable signals from instruments or other unbalanced line level sources. They help to eliminate different causes of distortion to create a cleaner signal. It is very useful to create a balanced signal from an unbalanced signal, allowing inputs such as an electric guitar to be run to a mixing console on the other side of the room.